Hello YouTube. Well, um, the reason why I'm doing this short video is because I just lost two and a half hours of my life and trying to say, uh, to fix this pretty common and dreaded, uh, stuck at step three of the setup in this brand new Samsung Q60B QLED and uh, 70 inch. Uh, I got this TV, well, I got the exact same TV about 10 days ago. And as soon as I got it, this whole left portion of the screen was uh, completely dead. Uh, it was the backlit was not working correctly. The backlight was not working correctly. So it was like a shadow. You could still see something. So I went online, of course, you know, you got to love YouTube and found this guy that basically just smacked it and it started working again. Uh, uh, I did the same thing. I smacked it a little bit from behind. I spanked it a bit. And the little bitch came back to life, so it was working perfectly fine. But, you know, it's a brand new TV. It's supposed to be on promotion. I think 1100 is the regular price. I got it for 930 at Best Buy. And uh, so I was like, ah, it's a good deal. I had a Samsung for about two and a half years. It was a really good TV. And I wanted something that had a little bit more processing power and a larger screen. Anyway... To make a long story short, I called Best Buy. They're like, well, you gotta take it back to the store. I was like, this motherfucker is like 85, 90 pounds. I already threw away the box. And even if I hadn't thrown away the box, it's just a bitch to move. So I went and I bitched and moaned at the store and I said, hey, you know, this is not my problem. You guys gotta help me out. I buy two, $3,000 worth of shit at your store every year. So they sent a replacement. They brought it to my door this morning and they took the old one even though it was working fine i wasn't just gonna take the risk that three days after the warranty expired uh it was gonna start doing the same thing and i didn't have to be smacking the tv for it to work right anyway so i get this new tv today exact same tv i'm super excited first thing i do is turn it on and yes it works perfectly fine it's beautiful i start setting it setting it up and i get to the dreaded uh, set up in step three and I get to step three and it just froze. It kept giving me this code of connected to device, device name N. And I figured it's probably my Nintendo switch. So I unplugged it because I think it's on step two. It tells you to plug in all of your HDMI's, your, your sound bar, your PS5, your switch, whatever other boxes you're going to use in your HDMI. It recognizes them. It makes everything easier. And you're able to even control part of it with your own uh, smart remote from, from Samsung. So I get there, get stuck. And I thought, well, maybe it's just downloading all of the apps that I had because it, you know, it creates a backup and it just starts downloading everything. So it's kind of like, kind of like when you get a new iPhone that, you know, it starts to, you know, mirror what you had before. Well, it got stuck and I was like, well, that's weird. And it also updated. And I was like, well, that's odd that it updated, but it didn't do a, it didn't turn on and off. It just got stuck. Turn it on, turn it back on. Nothing worked, kept getting stuck. And what I mean by getting stuck, the remote would work for like one or two presses. And then I would get that dreaded little window that said device connected, device name N as the Nintendo or nagging little bitch. So it would just get stuck, stop working. Uh, I'm gonna make this less than five minutes. I'm gonna give you the fix. I went into a bunch of YouTube videos. I called Samsung. Those are the fucking biggest idiots on the planet. Sorry for my French. I usually don't curse, but God dang, dude. Worst customer service. This guy was just plain fucking idiot. I can't wait for Samsung to send me that email to tell me how they did because they fucking suck. Anyway, I come across this video on YouTube and this guy doesn't really talk about it on the video, but he puts it on the description very quickly that he fixed his $2,000 Samsung TV, mini LED, badass fucking TV, simply by reprogramming the remote. And the way that you reprogram the remote is that you press back and the star pause, which is back 
and the play pause button. You're gonna press it at the same time. You're gonna see a little window on the screen come up and voila, about 10, 15 seconds later, I was able to complete the process and it was completely fixed. Had nothing to do with the processing, uh, the, the processor had nothing to do with software. It's fucking Samsung. Think about it, guys. A thousand dollar TV, and even if it was only three thousand dollars, how can they not make sure that their fucking remote works? Interestingly, it works to turn it on. But then when you start going through the setup process, it stops working, and it gives that stupid message. And if Samsung just said that message means program your remote, but nowhere in Samsung does it say that. I gave the code to the guy. He had no idea what I was talking about. Anyway, I hope this saves a lot of hassle. I hope that you guys are able to get it right away. Uh, just press those two buttons, continue on with the process, and enjoy your TV. Take care, brother.